There might be a bang as well. Yeah, it would have been nice. We were told. I was told, and I'm not joking. Someone said it'll go. Yes. Uh, what'd you say? What? Hey. Oh, you. you get a point for every car you knock over, and first to go is the winner from the last race. Well, I've worked it out in my head. After much careful consideration, 985 psi. That's precise. 43 degree elevation. That is precise. Right, we'll pass those numbers over to our Oxford educated physicist. Bang! One! What do you mean, one? Two! Three! three. three. I think okay. you'll find, and it would have been four if that one. Oh, damn it. Oh, there's no would have been about it. That wasn't bad. You see? Three. Maths. So, a modest three there from the immodest Clarkson. Come on. Next up with this humongous Volvo is funny man Alan Davis. You've got a bit of an idea. Well, about I, this, no, I think not? that it's really heavy. Yes, so it's a Volvo. Yeah, it will. So <laughs> I'm going for a kind of Barnes Wallace bouncing bomb approach. Interesting. I'm going to bring it in low, fire it full blast, and then it will roll into the first one right. and knock them all down. Okay. And while it's happening, can we have ABBA? Yeah, if you want. Super trooper beams are gonna blind me, but I won't feel blue. Are you doing it this way because you think the car will survive and you want it? <laughs> We're doing it this way in the hope <laughs> that the other cars won't, won't fall over and it'll speed down. Yeah. Go on then, get this over with. Okay, good. Fire! It's not even dented the front of the Volvo, do you see? It's still drivable. We could have kept it. We could use that again. Oh, that makes up for the gear lever earlier. And after that spectacular strike by Alan Davis, it's funny man Jimmy Carr. All the cars are already broken, so Jimmy should feel right at home. Well, um, it's not really about winning, it's about taking part, I feel, for the oh, kids. Good. Um, so what I'd like to do is try and, you know, jump it. What, clear, clear them off? Well, if I go high enough, I think I can crash down on top of them. That's not a bad idea. That's a very go interesting really high. Theory. It's quite a light car. Above Land, them. Land, yeah, up there. Drop. Hover. Spin. That would be nice. I don't know if we can put spin on this, but we'll try it. And then down on like top. Like a diving manoeuvre. What if you clear the That's cars exactly and the woods? Yeah. Because there's a village on the other side. Or a house or something. Well, obviously, some of their houses may be destroyed, but... Oh. This is entirely possible. All for charity. Just to be uh, clear about this, what elevation and what uh, what power have you got? Elevation, a thousand is the maximum. Yeah, no, that's no, that's the, the power. That's the power, all right. Yeah. What elevation? Maximum, 45, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Right, there you go. Want that? Answered it ourselves, Eddie. Yeah. So Just max the max. And max. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm right. quite looking forward to this. Strangely. Shock and awe, mate. Right. Yeah. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. That's good. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I should use that. You should use that on your show. <laughs> 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 oh. Right. Um. I'm going to fire that out and then and then with a and then that. Two. It was very big. <laughs> the Toyota's the miles away. What's happened there is it's not quite with the... Yeah, it's a good with the, the down track. With it, I think what? it might spin back. <laughs> no, I, I think Did you put some back spin on it? A little bit, yeah, a little bit of back spin. So, here we are in uh, Lincolnshire, <laughs> and we've found the car. I think it'll be alright. Well, the good news is the clutch is alright. Right, we'll be back later for some more bouts of mindless destruction. But in the meantime, this. Into round three of Stars in Fast Cars. Now this is a Mini Cooper S. It's 163 horsepower of pint-sized fun. This is a car renowned for being very nippy and for handling extremely well. And frankly, that's what our contestants are going to need. Because here in this, well, this car park, frankly, we have laid out a very tricky auto test. Absolutely, and here in the car is Mr. Russ Swift. Now he's a professional stunt driver and knows no fear and he's going to show us what you're going to be doing. To kick off they'll drive through a chicane of speed cameras and then in and out of a series of tight tricky spaces. It's all against the clock, there's points away if you hit the vases, and the stars will have to answer general knowledge questions whilst doing their laps. And there'll be other distractions on the sidelines. 
So, first to go in motoring mastermind is Patrick Keelty. In what year was Top Gear first broadcast? Uh, 1986. Incorrect. Uh, Bart Simpson lives in which fictional town? Oh, look. Now, don't look at the nude lady dancing over there. See, look, she's dancing. Who wrote Treasure Island? Handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. Who won the last I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here? Uh, no idea. Who sang and blew it all? She offers me protection. Uh, Robin Williams. Oh, dear. He's taking it out on the tyres. Who discovered penicillin? Um, no idea. It's found reverse. Oh, my Lord. Which fishes are kippers made from? Oh, come on, Paddy. That's easy. Uh, Kippers. No, that's incorrect. Yeah, that was well shit. Done. Indeed, it was. Now, can Clarkson liven things up? It will be messy, this. No need for that. So at some point in this, he'll go berserk. Oh, yes, he can. <laughs> so far, it's fast and rubbish. But can he go for a full house on the vases? <laughs> There we are, Britain's top motoring authority in action. Oh! James Bond film, what this figure with the Scaramanga had? Three nipples. Correct. Spanish Armada, which year? 16. Oh, Neat! Very tiny. We break every vase on the course. <laughs> the car is not smelling good. Next up is Alan, and he's about to lose his dignity so that you'll call 08457 910 910 and donate some cash. What nationality is Mike Myers? Oh, dear. Canadian. Yes, he is. Don't look at that naked girl over there. Like. You should. No, don't have a look. And he may be from Essex, but he ain't no getaway driver. This is more like dressage, isn't it, really? Yes. I see the smoke coming out of it now. That is clutch smoke. Oh, clutch is gone. Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jody Kidd, in which country is the Spa Racing Circuit? Uh, Germany. And a nice lady bloke there to distract Jody. Oh, I can't get out of reverse. Now we'll see some driving. <laughs> What year was the Battle of Hastings? 1966. Oh, that's all the gearbox has gone. If you can't find them, they're going to clutch. Yeah, the girl. The naked lady. Yeah, I loved her. She was brilliant. <laughs> you were looking. I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, there's two bollards. You can come out now. Yes. Come on, use your new spray. Focus. Darren may be clever at world politics. Wipers on now. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a bit shabby here. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Do the Fandango. That'll do. Ha. Nice finish, though. Hey, that wasn't bad. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and now... <laughs> this will be fine. The man everyone's been waiting for, Jimmy Carbreaker. You might notice the cars change colour. That's because he's already broken the silver one. You might want to belt up. Now remember, Jimmy is endangering his life and others. So that you'll call 08457 910 910 and cough up the cash. So far, James had managed only one question. Please, can I get out? <laughs> you got me. Is that the clutch? No, that's that's tyre smoke. That oh, is all tyre smoke. That valve was already down. This is going to be good. <laughs> no, it wasn't very good at all. <laughs> What's he doing in there? Oh, don't <laughs> is that, was that good or bad? Rubbish. What went wrong there, James? You can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I objected out what went wrong. I thought I did very well. <laughs> you missed. You missed half the course. Half the course. Half the course. Which half? Well, that, which, well, which, that's, that's kind the of middle half. That that makes sense. Sense. Basically, the middle bit of the course completely missed out there. Right. Well, that's that's probably speeded things up. You did. Yeah. <laughs> Almost certainly. <laughs> and while we count up the scores to see just how much Jimmy's lost by, let's go back to the cannon firing. I'm going to go full whack on the PSI, I think. Full whack? Yeah, 1,000. Okay. No, I think that's right. Okay, I'm going to go for about 35 degrees, I think, in the angle, 